And we are back. Pokemon White 2 Hardcore Randomizer. The run continues here. We're kicking this episode off with the Cast Form first encounter on Route 22. We secure it with the Dust Ball. It ends up with the Poison Heal ability. We then pop into the Giant Chasm here for our next first encounter. It's going to be the Bug Type Pincer with the Anticipation Passive ability. And then for our Seaside Cave Encounter, it's gonna be the Alola Mola here. Drop back with the Dust Ball and secure it. All right, so we clear the entire ship next to Seaside Cave. We take care of that. Then we make it to the Giant Chasm. We clear the ship again, Team Plasma's Frigate here, making our way to that fight against Colrus. However, we have to fight Champion Kate here or Zinzolin. He's usually got his Ice types and the Crook Dial comes down. We've seen a lot of pseudo legendaries. We've seen a lot of scary Pokemon and the Crook Dial is way up there. He leans into the Sandstorm, getting the party started right, right here. We go for the Body Slam, hoping for the Paralysis and that's exactly what happens. We are flirting with that Stab Super Effective ground typing though, so we are going to get out to safety here and as you saw we got two pokemon paralyzed i completely forgot zinzel and side swipes us here so i was going to get into position before colrus and heal however the crocodile goes in for the dig we get the double damage with the earthquake stab and crocodile goes down stockholm completely flexing there and the excel gore comes out a super fast bug and i didn't realize he was going to be running giga drain here and it's four times super effective and we get absolutely sniped. On top of that, it's a fadeaway crit. So the, <laughs> the Swampert had no chance of living there. And my favorite starter goes down. And that is just a huge blow. We hadn't lost anybody in so long. And now we're on the back foot. So we're going to go for that huge rock slide. However, the U-turn comes down. And Excel Gore gets to safety. So just a huge hit and run. The Leopard comes down, Life Hard tanking the Rock Slide, no problem there. We can lean into the Bulldoze, get the Speed Drop as well. Snatch comes in, doesn't do too much. Life Hard lives in the red, no problem there. And we drop back with one more Stab Bulldoze, and the Leopard goes down. So now it's Frankfurt versus Excel Gore. The Bug wants it all, and we drop back for a Rock Slide. The Bug Buzz comes down. It's going to be neutral here, and it gets another critical hit. And Frankfurt goes down. Flygon flies home. And we lose not only Swampert, but also our beautiful dragon in Flygon. So this Excel Gore is taking everything. Not only that, we send out Tokyo, the Torkoal, who has Trace, and we find out that Excel Gore has the Sniper passive, which means its critical hits do double damage. So nobody stood a chance against this bug. Thankfully, the Torkoal puts it in its place, but we lose two awesome Pokemon in the same fight, and we still have Chorus. So we run back to the PC, we get two more new Pokemon to replace the Fallen, and now we are ready for Colrus. We are ready, we have a game plan, everybody's healed up, and we're not going to underestimate any more fights for the remainder of this journey here. We drop back with the Chimeco, getting that Yawn set up here as the Beedrill goes in for that Poison Jab, doing massive damage. The Wind Chime doing its thing, though, and now we can swap into somebody who has the Shell Smash. We know Lexington does. We know Tokyo does. I think even Dragonite could learn Shell Smash, so it's a really cool adaptation to this run as you can sweep with multiple people so we trace out there and get the thick fat ability on the beedrill so it actually resists the fire typing much more than it normally would however it doesn't matter doesn't change the game plan we just get that shell smash get the plus two in all of the offense categories and drop the plus two on the defensive side of things and we could go for two we could get a little bit tipsy here as beedrill is still sleeping and now i'm fairly confident we're going to outspeed the b here and now we have plus four split plus four speed, plus four attack, and plus four special attack. So Beedrill gets absolutely bodied by the body slam here doing work. And now we have four more Pokemon that we're going to have to get through. The Ferrothorn comes down, and as long as Sturdy is not its ability, as long as it doesn't have Sturdy, we are good to go, as that is four times super effective. So much damage right there, and the Golduck comes down. A little bit more scary since the water typing is super effective, but we go for the body slam. It does not one-shot. Golduck holds on and actually psychs up and uses our stat changes and gets the full restore so it basically steals our plus four however that does mean it drops its plus four on the defensive side and it gets body so a little bit scary there with the full restore but no problem tokyo stands tall here and we don't have the the perfect answer for the rampardos i know it's special defense isn't great but if we get touched by this big behemoth we will go down so it's probably better for everyone involved just to swap to safety 
So what is the Rampartist going to do upon the swap? We go into Lexington, and we're going to have to tank an Ancient Power here. It is neutral, given our typing. And now Landorus drops back with a stab, super effective Earth Power, and it's special. So I don't think the Rampartist is going to uh, live that, and it does not. The Fossil goes down. The Shell Bell for a little bit of reprieve. And the S Cavalier comes down. We don't want to mess with that. The steel type and looking real good. It also has the air balloon. So a pretty cool Pokemon to swap out for his normal clink here. Colra's doing what he does. And we don't have the best way to damage him because because of the air balloon, it's going to dodge that earth power. So we're just going to switch into Dublin here who has access to the fusion flare as the swords dance comes down. These gen five bugs are really feeling it on top of that. It has speed boost, which is immaculate. So it's got plus two attack plus one speed. Thankfully we sneak in the fusion flare and S Cavalier falls. The knight in shining armor goes down and we beat champion Florentino also known as Colrus. My gosh. Other than that, we're looking really good. We have to fight the Shadow Triad right after that, and Krakus holds on with the Focus Sash, tanking that Leaf Storm off the top, draws back with a Fusion Flare. Shifri tanks that as well, though. My gosh, the Shifri came to play. He absolutely did. We're going to swap safely into Tokyo Artorical here and get a much better set up as the rain dish is revealed the leak tornado comes down shifter really feeling it as far as its feelings towards the ludicolo knowing he is the inferior evolution from gen 3 but absolutely gets faded on by tokyo here hitting him with the drift the kyogre comes down goodness gracious another legendary in the back and water is a pretty scary typing as we don't have any electric or grass types ready to go um, but we do have the, the dragon typing in Dublin. However, Kyogre probably has ice beam, so we got to watch out for that. But we still go in for Crobat, and the muddy water comes down. Hopefully no accuracy debuff. That does massive damage and drops the accuracy. Thankfully, the Black Sludge for a little bit of healing on the side. We go for the Poison Fang, hoping for that big poison. And the Aqua Ring comes down as the poison does not. And the Black Sludge is healing us, as well as the Aqua Ring on Kyogre's side of things. If we can just get that poison, we can now stall with a potential fly or swap in. And we're going to have to take the ice beam and Cleveland holds Cleveland holds with 8 HP but gets frozen absolutely gets frozen so thankfully this toxic poison is going to add up given that poison fang good god and as you can see Krakus is at one Cleveland is at 18 and we have two Pokemon four times weak to the ice beam so it is up to Jersey come home here and the big jellyfish gets swapped in for a very safe swap into that move. So we resist Muddy Water and Ice Beam, which is really nice. On top of that, we sidestep the wannabe Surf Kyogre getting healed, but also tanking the poison damage. And it looks like one more turn will do it. We sidestep another Muddy Water. Let's go. Who is the superior water typing? And I think it is the jellyfish. Kyogre goes down. One of the most scary legendaries out there. And somebody wants to learn heat wave and of course it is tokyo the torkoal here but i like flamethrower i like that 90 100 setup that we have we don't need to mess with the mischance here champion Anne is defeated watch out for those shadow triad my gosh and i think we could all use a nice laugh here after all those really close fights as the bell sprout is going to be the coveted fused kiram here that is absolutely comical as the chime echo drops back and completely deletes it and now it is time for that fight against Getsis. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we just need to lock it down. We've got the, the Yawn setup. I think we're just going to go straight into Landorus and completely sweep Getsis. I think Landorus is our best option. We got to watch out for those four times super effective ice type moves, as well as maybe some special water types. That could be really scary. But if we can get a couple of shell smashes in and just ramp up, we can go for the sweep. So Manetric is actually perfect here as it has that primary attacking in the electric types and the ground immunity will come in clutch on top of that Caracas has motor drive so we tank the electric types here for the setup which is beautiful this Manetric is completely walled just amazing here given the randomized moveset I don't think Manetric really gets anything on top of that Manetric has Truant this is the worst case scenario for Getsis. this this really is so really we just need to watch out for any Pokemon that might have sturdy and hold on from our one shot so Lexington completely ramping up take one take two shell smashes and let's just run with this lexington doing work right now bite comes down just a little chip off the top but we will take the plus four across the board drop back with a stab earthquake and manetric is gone one pokemon down four to go i believe in the landris first time we've got to use the genie and he is coming through for us we drop back with another stab super effective earthquake onto the rapid ash 
take that fire main and let's go three pokemon left let's see what he's working with next champion mike sends out granbull here a very nice pokemon but right now it's just normal it doesn't have that fairy typing yet and it's popping off and it's ready to go and landorus takes down another one we got two pokemon left and it is the revered dragon in dredagon here no problem the hydragon swaps into the dredagon for this fight but it's not enough and lexington takes another victim one more pokemon here four gets this and it's going to be the heat more it's going to be the free offering and i'm just kidding we got one more pokemon in the back after this heat more but it is gone so let's see it let's see this final pokemon four gets this and it's going to be Swalot, who is also weak to the ground typing lexington takes no prisoners as Swalot goes down in one shot it's a fade away critical you'll love to see it gets this is defeated and we are nearing the end but as far as this video goes thank you so much for your time i really do appreciate it and i will catch you on the flip peace